What's up? It's Timmy Joe, making videos about computer, computer parts, just about things on the internet. And uh, we got some quick tech for you today. Woo! Man, I like this RAM. I really do. Out of all the RAM, it's in my top, top two, probably. Uh, T-Force. This is a team group thing. It's their gaming brand. They got all kinds of RGB up on this. But more important than that, like, it's in here. It looks beautiful. It's doing that droppy, you know, several color change thing. It's really, really nice. But uh, when you pick this RAM up, it's heavy. It's substantial. It's made of metal. It's got little, like, rivets in it that hold it together. It's, you know, it's just it's, um, quality stuff, you can tell. Like, substantial in your hand. But, you know, if it's pretty, whatever, there's lots of factors that go into choosing memory for your build. I'll give you some reasons why you might want to choose this stuff, because it's actually pretty, pretty nice. So right now it's doing the RGB flashy thing in my Bob. I got lots of RGB stuff, obviously. There's fans in the front. We got a fan right there. They got this, you know, and the motherboard does stuff too. But uh, you know what? Uh, this works with all of the compatible whatever, but I can tell their software for this, they have a proprietary software. It, uh, it's called like Blitz or something like that. It's basically Asus Aorus Sync. I'm, I'm pretty sure it uses the same dealy. Now I have an Asus motherboard, an X299, and I never ever have luck using Asus Aorus Sync with it. So I'm jumping over here and I got it installed on my Gigabyte motherboard, the Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi uh, X470. Really nice board and it works very, very well. You want a proof? You want to check it out? Well, I will show you. So. Right now it's running in its default mode and when you plug it into a board, if it doesn't have support for this kind of stuff, it does in fact, oh, there we go. We got orange, boom. It does in fact run that cool rainbow effect. So you don't need to install software if that's the only thing you're going for. But I've got it set up here and uh, you know it'll do the basically everything that the stuff in the computer is doing. The motherboard's got lights. I've got an RGB strip back there that's plugged in. This fan is plugged in. So you know if we want to choose yellow, because yellow is my build, boom. Wait, what? You're going to make me a liar. Color cycle. There we go. I think got purple, it's like doing the RAM is going independent of the rest of the motherboard. So we can tell the Asus RGB Fusion software is working very nice for it. Now, I could have installed their proprietary software, but I wanted to see how it worked with just standard motherboard software. And the great thing about uh, the Gigabyte's solution for this is there is an app in the BIOS, RGB Fusion, that lets you, you know, you don't have to go ahead and install their third party app. Uh, you can just go set a color in the BIOS and it works. So go to demo mode. Let's see what demo mode does. Ooh, it's, uh, you know, it's RGB. That's turning green. Demo, what's demo mode doing? It's just changing. Oh, there we go. We've got some colors on there. This is yellow. And then you can go ahead and go advanced. And then you can go to uh, intelligent, I believe. No, advanced. And then where do you go? Uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh, peripherals, and we see here that DDR is selected, and now I can choose, you know, a uh, static color, and, or I can go flash, or I can go, you know, color cycle, and it's all working out rather nice. So it makes the system look beautiful, and uh, yeah, I really like, uh, you know, this, this RAM. Not just because it's flashy and it's got cool colors and stuff like that, more that it uh, is just substantial, it feels quality. If you're the kind of person that switches uh, you know, in and out of builds all the time, it's made of metal. You don't have to worry about you know, uh, heat dissipation or anything like that. There's some pretty good heat sink to it. It's got really nice uh, you know, RGB illumination, which is always a plus. But if all of that is there, you know, what's the point? You know, we'll put her just to a nice Asus orange. A sorry, gigabyte orange. Oh, oops. Gigabyte, everything's gigabyte orange, ooh, or red? Ooh, red looks good. Okay, uh, if it's too expensive, then what the hell's the point? Well, happy to report. Number one, it comes in a different color. You can get it in white if your build is white. That's always a nice thing. Same RAM, and this is 3200 speed CL16. Um, so, you know, it's not the fastest timings, but really fast memory. And uh, you get a good price on it here. $183.99 on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description below. Uh, I would definitely say, honestly, this is in the top two of the, like, I don't know, eight RGB memory modules I've played with. 
uh, for both its usability, how it looks, the quality of the materials it's made out of, the uh, speed just working in Ryzen, like this is a Ryzen system, no issues, just loading an XMP profile, 3200, away you go. And I've had it in the B450 motherboard, no problem, uh, you know, B350, so it's all, I've, I've actually done a coffee like build on an Asus motherboard and it worked, I think Asus Orsync worked really well on that one. I don't know what's up with my Asus Orsync, I can never get it to work right. But on uh, this old gal, she's working really nice. This has been a quick look at the T-Force Nighthawk DDR4 gaming memory. And uh, again, 16 gig kit of uh, CL 1618 1838 at 1.35 volts. And it just freaking works. Everything just works. As Jensen Huang would say, it just works. And uh, I really like it. So I'm not watching Joe Instagram and Twitter. It's been a look at the... Um, it looks beautiful in there. All those, all that looks really good right now. I'm going to leave it like that. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter or whatever. Uh, watch Timmy Cho. We'll see you in another video. And I want to thank you very much for stopping by to look at, you know, everyone's favorite thing. RGB! He makes videos about computers on the internet.